What it do, my MCOC crew? This is damn epic, and you're about to witness history. So, here we go. As you can see, your boy actually did a thing. I set foot in that mysterious mystical place, which I wasn't sure if it existed or not, but apparently it does. It's called Arena. And if you guys didn't see my last video that I put out on why I would not be wailing for 7 Star Gladiator, well, be sure to watch that. But in this video, I decided, you know what? I do not want to spend one unit on his Paragons. I'm going to do something I've never done before, and that's grind the arena for him. Now, do I believe that the 6 Star is going to do anything for my account? Not really. But do I believe the pushback is decent enough on this champion and enough people are underwhelmed with this champion that Kabam may buff this champion? Yes. Um, again, he's just not a top cosmic champion. He's a good champion, just not a great champion. Not, I feel all summoner choice champions should be great champions. They don't have to be broken champions. But as you see here, I have 26 generics, two cosmics. I'll just pop a cosmic into him. Bing, bam, boom. Uh, six star generic awakening gems, at least, you know, on my end are kind of worthless. So I think I saw something in the in game mail that Kabam is going to be coming out and allowing you to do some trade ins. But I digress, guys. So the grind was actually pretty easy. I knew that he would go for pretty low. I did. Didn't even have to grind on the last day, but I decided, you know what? I came this far. Let me just finish it off. Uh, I think the cutoff was 107 million. I put up 159 million points. Honestly, I just listened to podcasts. I uh, even watched a movie while grinding. Arena is pretty mindless. So it's easy enough to do. Is this something that I would continue doing? Absolutely not. It's just something that I wanted to try for like the very first time. Uh, for a six star at least and uh, yeah I mean it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be but it's definitely not a great use of time in my opinion um, if you're completely free to play I see this as a great way to pick up champs to expand your roster um, grow your account but as a whale uh, <laughs> this was something a little bit sacrilegious I must say something I didn't think I would ever do but I kind of feel like this champ was so underwhelming for me that I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to get him and I'm not going to, you know, <laughs> spend any units on him. So it's very rare that I've had that mindset. So what could be improved about this champion really quickly? Uh, his immunities. I feel like um, if Kabam doesn't want to give him flat out poison, incinerate, cold snap immunity 100%, they can give him resistances, which scale... Um, as he builds up his confidence charges also maybe don't let him lose confidence charges if he gets hit um and uh i don't know i i, I feel like uh that would be a major thing for him maybe tune up his damage just a little bit um and that would instantly instantly make him a far superior champ than he is today a bit better damage some immunities uh fix up, you know, uh, removing the confidence if he gets hit, so he don't have to start all over again, and he's going to be a great champ, is he going to be broken, is he even still going to be top 3 or top 5 cosmic, maybe not, but he'll be a fun champ that can do things in the game uh, and stack up against most of the other cosmic champs, and again, for a summoner choice champion, that is what you want, now guys, I'm also going to be opening an incursions crystal, so, um, I really like that Kabam is kind of um, improving the rewards and incursions, so that's nice. Uh, the incursions pool is pretty decent. Make sure you do all the milestones so that you can get that. You can really, really uh, stack up. Uh, I think I went into this having like 270,000 artifacts, and uh, I got to 400,000 pretty, pretty easily. Um, so yeah, it's nice. Again, for the free-to-play, you get some gold there. We're going to claim these uh last milestones and let's get into the crystal guys i am excited <clears throat> number one want in this crystal is gonna be hulk buster he doesn't need the awakening he's got utility he's got damage exactly what you want to hear uh something that gladiator doesn't have okay i kid i kid the number two one honestly would be namor because of course he needs 
to be duped and high sig, but that's the first part of the equation, right? I still feel his utility with the damage reflection is very, very uh, niche and very, very awesome and good to have. Uh, and the seven star power level, uh, you know, with the critical attack stat focus and whatnot, I think his special twos are going to be hitting pretty hard. So let's go Hulkbuster or Namor. Those are my uh, two wants. Runner-up number three would be Mojo. He also kind of wants the dupe. Um, let's see what we get. Mojo. All right. I will take that. My number two one. Um, uh, super cool looking champ as well. Uh, still love the, the winged kind of uh, ankles. I mean, it's just it's really an awesome looking champ. And I will mark that up as a W. I know he needs the Awakening. I know, of course, he needs High Sig. I have a R4, Sig 200, 6-star, Namor. Um, but it's great to have the 7-star. And this is, game is all about moving your account forward to the future. And definitely in time, of course, Kabam will be selling uh, and, and uh, giving out rewards with 7-star uh, Awakening Gems and 7-star Signature Stones. Of course, at a premium at first. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Let me know who you pulled from this crystal ooh, or who your number one pulls are. And I'll catch you in the next one. Damn it, pick out. Peace.